Hi, I'm Andrew from NVIDIA, and today we're gonna to give you guys a little bit more information on how to set up PC to Shield streaming. We're gonna go into detail on how to set up your router, how to access Steam Big Picture, and how to navigate around the touchscreen controls of the streaming UI. First, we're gonna do a little recap of the necessary requirements for PC streaming. As we talked about in part one, once you have the latest GeForce graphics drivers and the latest GeForce Experience client installed on your GTX PC, you can go to the My Rig tab to check out the game streaming requirements for the system. Here you can see a list of requirements to get game streaming set up. And if your PC meets those requirements, you have a little checkbox by each line item. Now I wanna talk about routers and how to set up your wireless router for the best experience for PC streaming. While we do support 802.11 A and G routers, we recommend an 802.11 N dual band router for the best experience while streaming. Check out our website for a full list of the routers that we've tested and know to be a great experience. 802.11 N dual band routers have two channels, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. We recommend connecting to the five gigahertz for the best experience with PC streaming. On this shield, we're seeing the ASUS router has two channels. One is ASUS 5G and one is just ASUS. We're connected to the ASUS 5G channel. If you don't see two separate channels, you need to make sure that your router is configured to have a separate 5G channel and connect to that for the best experience. If you don't see a five gigahertz channel, you need to configure your router to have two separate channels. Here is the ASUS control panel for the router that we're using, and under wireless settings, we're looking at the five gigahertz settings. We've set the name to ASUS 5G to make sure to connect to the five gigahertz channel. When setting up your wireless router, put it in a central place in your home for the best coverage and fewest walls. And look out for things like baby monitors and microwaves that can cause Wi-Fi interference. On our website, you can see a list of supported PC games for Shield. We support 23 games currently, and we're adding new games all the time. When a game is supported, it means that we've pre-configured everything, including resolution, controller support, and optimal playability settings to make sure you have a great experience out of the box. Now we're gonna show you how you can play unsupported games on Shield using Steam Big Picture. Once you've paired your Shield to your gaming PC, hit the Shield button to access your games list. The first tile will be Steam Big Picture. Select Steam to connect to Big Picture and your PC will launch Steam. From the Steam Big Picture homepage, you can access the store to purchase new games. You can check out your installed games on your library. And you can also talk trash to your friends using the community elements while sitting on the couch. You can use Steam Big Picture to play games that aren't on the supported games list, like your favorite indie titles. My personal favorite is Rogue Legacy. Let's check it out. It's great on the Shield because it has awesome controller support and it also looks really good on the 5-inch screen. Plus, what's better than playing a character with irritable bowel syndrome while sitting on the toilet? So now we're gonna show you how to add a non-Steam game to your Steam Big Picture library and then be able to launch that game on Shield. First, what you're gonna do is go to the main Steam library window and go to add a game. Then click add a non-Steam game here in this box. In this window, you can click Browse to find the EXE of the game that you want to add. For this example, we're going to use Hawken. Click the EXE and it shows up in the list selected as the EXE to add. Then click Add Selected Programs to add that EXE into your Steam library window. Now what we're going to do is connect to Steam using the shield. Once you've launched Steam Big Picture, you're going to navigate to the Library tab, then to View All Games, and then you're going to launch the EXE that you've added previously. Once you've launched the game through Steam Big Picture, it'll bring up the Hawken Launcher. This is a really cool opportunity for us to show you some tools that are really powerful for navigating unsupported games. First is the virtual mouse. If you touch and hold on the screen, you can actually move the mouse cursor anywhere on the screen and then single tap to click. Do a two finger tap on the screen to bring up the on-screen menu. Then we can use the virtual keyboard to log into our Hawken account. From the virtual keyboard menu, you can also access all the F keys, and tab and other keys that you would not normally have access to with the touchscreen. This will allow you to navigate through a lot of different scenarios that may have been difficult with the touchscreen. To exit the virtual keyboard, two finger tap, and that'll bring you back to the on-screen menu. On the on-screen menu, you have other controls like force quit, help, and steam home. Sometimes on-screen content can be hard to read. We added a pinch and zoom, as well as a pan feature to be able to read this content. To zoom back out, click the icon in the upper left-hand corner. Then, to exit the game, simply do a two-finger tap to bring up the on-screen menu, and then click Quit Game. Click OK, and that'll return you back to the main PC streaming menu on Shield. 
If you need more information on tips and tricks on Shield or want general information, you can open the Shield user guide by navigating to the Shield Help application on your Shield and clicking Y to access the user manual. Here you'll find all the information you need to get started and to navigate around. Troubleshooting PC game streaming tips will show you all sorts of cool things. Today we've shown you how to navigate around Steam Big Picture and add games that are not on the supported games list to Steam to be able to play on your Shield. For more information, go to shield.nvidia.com and thanks for watching.